already got my windshield wipers on. Excellent. Hey folks, this is Casual Truck. I'm Grimwit. With me today is Al. Say hello, hello Al. People. What's going on? And today... Oh, I'm just doing great. Today we're going to talk about <coughs> Quidditch. I need to stop smoking. <laughs> I don't smoke. You're better off. You're far better off, sir. Anyway, so uh, you you pointed out something before we got started, to which I said, "Shut up! We're gonna start recording now." <laughs> why don't you re re why don't you go over that again? Sorry. Well, uh, when when I listened to the Harry Potter series on audiobook, they made mention of American witch schools, at least one. Uh, the Salem Institute, I believe. But it, it got me thinking, if America had its own version of Quidditch that was completely different from the European Quidditch. Uh, it wouldn't be completely different. It would be very... Okay, like, what's the difference between rugby and American football? I'm not totally honest. Let me look up the rules of rugby. I don't, I don't actually know either. I know rugby doesn't have... Okay, so... American Quidditch would have more padding. We know that much. Right. Uh, it would apparently have more rules. Well, it wouldn't be padding. It would be, like, higher density robes. Higher density... Yeah, well, no, the, the robes would have... Okay. Some... I, I seem to remember Quidditch players having some kind of padding. Yeah, they had helmets and, uh, you know, standard uh, gloves... Well, you, uh, elbow, uh, elbow pads, knee pads, that kind of thing. Okay, yeah, that's all good and fine. We're gonna need, uh... We're gonna need... Helmets with face guards. Hey! Okay. This guy just sideswiped me, no joke. Anyway, let's see. We're gonna need face guards on our Quidditch. Is it the, still on brooms? Um... Yes, but all the brooms will be holding some kind of American flag, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, I'm down. <laughs> like, Pointed like a spear. Like, I don't understand why this uh, this flagpole doesn't have a flag on it. Let's just fix that. Did you ever play uh, Fallout New Vegas? No, I've never played Fallout New Vegas. In one of the expansions, a weapon that you can get is Old Glory, and it really is just a flagpole with an eagle on it, and you beat people with it. Cool. Ooh. I'm driving like I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh. So let me see here. The, uh, the snitch would be larger. I Actually, think there would only be one ball. See, I don't under... Okay, and I'm sure if I had a big enough audience that I would get a lot of hate comments for this, but I don't understand what the point is for everybody else on on uh, Quidditch. I don't see why there needs to be anybody on the team except for the guy who catches the snitch. It should be the snitch race. That's more or less what it is, I think. Uh, at least plot-wise in the books. I don't really remember a whole lot of details other than Ron getting his ass beat a couple of times. There we go. Well, that's just that's just Harry Potter. Or at least but all the a movie. all the action happens with the snitch. Hell, it, it 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 holds one of the final no, not Horcruxes. Damn mm -hmm. it! It holds one of the Deathly Hallows in it. Oh yes, it does. Because, um, everything's got to be important. Absolutely. I thought once or twice of joining Pottermore, but... Damn it, if I'm not Ravenclaw, then fuck it. See, I always figured myself for a Hufflepuff. If I had to pick one. Ah, the miscellaneous group. Right. <laughs> Just a mess. <laughs> I just realized there's a horse back there. I mean, there's. Uh, I'd really like to be in Slytherin. Don't get me wrong. Slytherin's got some great wizards on its side. <laughs> but I'd probably be a Hufflepuff. 
Hor horses. There are horses. Oh, horses. I didn't know they had those in Europe. I didn't realize they had them in the game. Apparently they have them in Europe. This horse looks more like a dog than a horse. I'm actually kind of scared. It's got a horse's body and it's got a Great Dane's face. Are you sure it's j just not a really, really, really big Great Dane? It Does it might, have hooves? It has hooves. That kind of cancels out the idea that it might be a very big Great Dane. Well, you're fucked. <laughs> you're in a mystical wonderland known as hell. <laughs> hell, the mystical wonderland where fairies uh, poke you with tiny forks. <laughs> So back to this Quidditch variant. How many balls are in play? We gotta nail that down. Okay, in Quidditch there are three balls, right? I believe so. There's two, what, bludgers, I think they're called? No, bludgers are the guys who beat the other two balls. Oh, hell, I don't even remember. So, I know there are two regular balls, and then there's the snitch. And if you drop one of the balls on the ground, the whole game stops, and everybody stares at it awkwardly, because nobody really thought of that. Well, I have the rules in front of me. The quaffle is a fear, uh, is spherical in shape, although it is known with four larger dimples in the films, appearing more as a tetrahedron. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. It doesn't actually go into the rules. It just gives me how big the goddamn ball is. This doesn't help. It doesn't. Yeah. It's okay. Whatever. <laughs> So, oh, okay. each team is made up of seven players, consisting of three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and one seeker. The job of the chasers is to keep possession of the quaffle, and try and score a goal worth ten points by throwing it through one of the opponent's three hoops. They can pass it among themselves, but if only one player, but only one player is allowed in scoring in the scoring area at any time. Two beaters have to protect the rest of the team. The keeper uh, is to uh, the keeper's job is to protect the goal hoops. He's basically the glory, and we all uh, goalie, and we all know what the seeker does. So yeah. the seeker is the game. Like 150 points for catching the snitch. Come on, that's a bit high. <laughs> it's 10 points to get a ball through the hoop. That means that you need 15 hoops, and you've seen how tiny those hoops are. 15 yeah. hoops before uh, the snitch, or no, 16 hoops before the snitch gets caught in order to win the game by not catching the snitch. Right. Tell me that's and not a bit much. The game doesn't. Uh, the game moves fast, but it doesn't move like basketball, where there's constant scoring back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. It's, just kind of, there's a mess of people flying around while Harry's looking for the important thing. <laughs> I know, good story device, mm, I don't know about game, it doesn't seem like it's a good game. I know there are people that actually play Quidditch. I, I heard this uh, conversation on uh, the HP Podcraft. I, I don't know, if you, you probably don't listen to it. No, I haven't heard of this. Tell right. me more. Well, okay, just that aside, they were talking about people taking fictional things seriously. And one of the things is, uh, I believe it was Chris Lackey was at a convention and he was talking to somebody who plays Quidditch. Oh, God. And Chris is just like, but you have to fly on brooms. And then they go into how, you know, they're keeping track of the ball and everything and how they deal with this niche. And Chris is like, but are you flying around on brooms? And then they continue, like, how important they're taking the sport and they're trying to turn it into an actual thing. And Chris is like, the brooms! I can't help but notice the fact that you need flying brooms. I believe we're in an age where that's not far away. Perhaps we might be able to play some version of Quidditch quadcopters at some point here pretty soon. But I don't think it's practical for people yet. At this point, you might as well play it on tabletop if you're just going to make pretend. Which isn't terrible. I mean... It's more yeah, forgivable than the half LARPing that they're doing. <laughs> that's it really is, what it is! It is half LARPing. It really is. And that's kind of... 
No, I'm not gonna say sad, because I used to be, uh, I, well, I guess in my own way, I was part of the, uh, the SCA, so I can deal with LARPing. LARPing's okay. Hang on a sec. I had to get a cough out, but I didn't want to cough into the microphone again. Ah, uh, no problem. No problem at all. Oh yeah, I am a wreck. You can fight through this. You need a neti pot, sir. What's a neti pot? Neti pot is a little tea that you put mild salt water in and pour through your nostrils to clean out oh. your sinuses. Oh! Oh no! No way! Not gonna <laughs> do it! It's actually really good. It's actually really no! <laughs> <laughs> Just, ow! <laughs> you thought waterboarding was bad. I, what's weird is I, I've seen that, but I didn't know what it was called. And now there's a name to my horror. And it is Neti Pot. Uh, let's see, am I, do I have enough time to pass in front of this guy? Yes, but only if I'm reckless about it. Be reckless! Of course. Shoot for the moon! Highway to the danger zone. Lana! Down. Lana! Lana! <laughs> danger zone. Did you see Archer on Conan the other night? Wait, Arch Archer. What, the cartoon character was on Conan O'Brien. Well, it's more like... It's more like Conan left his show to be on Archer for a minute. Wait. They got chased around by uh, uh, Chechenian terrorists, and uh, Conan learned to kill, and learned that it was an amazing sexual thrill. That sounds like Conan. Right. It was pretty good. Check it out on YouTube. I'll have to. How, how up to date are you on Archer? Um... All except for the last season. And Queenie absolutely wants to watch the last season with me, but for some reason, we keep getting sidetracked with good anime or feeling each other up. <laughs> what good anime? We were watching Hamatora. Never even heard of it. I started, wa I started watching just because I wanted anything. Something good, which is not easy to do with anime and I was going I think you were talking to me about anime and you were saying that you were sick of high school kids with superpowers no uh, I'm largely sick of TNA uh, but high school kids with superpowers kind of falls in that sort of thing uh, I got sick of it around Naruto and Full I knew everything about Full Metal Alchemist before I ever saw Full Metal Alchemist Really? Yeah. Which at least everything pertinent. Uh. And then I figured out that the one character that seemed enjoyable dies halfway through. So <laughs> Hamatora, uh, I I'm big on mystery animes, and it is hard to find good mystery animes. Usually, uh, there's some kind of I don't know. It's it's not good mystery. They pull crap out at the last second, which is yeah. cheating. And uh, so, occasionally I find some good ones. Hamatora is a is a mystery anime, and it is in so many words X Men. It, okay. The, the plot is X Men, but what if the X Men was a uh, PI agency? Okay. That's pretty much it. There are people called Minimums, and these Minimums have superpowers that they were born with as a form of human mutation. Nobody knows about it until one guy decides to start a war between the Norms and the Minimums. So I wonder how the Maximums feel about this. So, so X-Men. Alright. That's the thing. Is, th there's nothing new around this asshole. There we go. 
There's nothing new in, in this story. In, in fact, I'm getting a lot of influences from American comics from the anime. The, uh, the strange thing, I, I, I don't know why I like this. The main character, or I, I, maybe the main character, whose name is just nice. They all have one word English word names, like art okay. or ratio. Nice is a Mary Sue. He, he's perfect. There's You can't beat him. He's Superman, basically. Okay. But it still works, because the stories usually aren't about him. They're about how people react to him, which is the only reason why the stories work. He's, I mean, when you strip away the powers, he's basically Sherlock Holmes. And Sherlock Holmes is a Mary Sue, if you stop to think about it. So I don't, I don't know, Mary. Uh, there, there's a lot to dislike about Sherlock Holmes. He is ineffable and perfect, but he's ineffable and perfect in the same way that Batman is, at the cost of his humanity and his civility and his better sense of being a person. That he unbecomes normal and becomes this paragon of what he believes is truth and justice. Sort of. If you look at the more recent interpretations, I mean, okay. Shall I've I never have... read. I've never read Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's work. I'm oh my god! Right, Do right, yourself right. a favor, man. It's easy to get a hold of. You can get it online. You can buy it cheap. The, yeah, the it's all original public domain, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. The thing about author Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes is, he, here's the actual setup. First off, you know that C Conan Doyle was a person who believed in fairies and magic. So how does, it, how does a guy like that come up with a character like Sherlock Holmes? Well, Holmes was supposed to be, quote, and I'm only quoting from somebody else's interpretation. I don't actually believe this. Everything wrong with uh, British... Um, attachment to reason. That, okay. But what Holmes eventually grew into towards about the middle of the stories is... Um, okay, Holmes is pure reason. Watson is the heart. And that's why the story works. Watson is stupid. I mean, he has occasional points where he sees things the right way, but Watson is not a, a, a smart man. But he is one that that understands human beings a little bit better than Holmes does. I thought but, he was smart in a different way. I thought he was medical well, smart. Oh yes, he is he is the the medical guy, but I mean so is Holmes. The only difference is Holmes doesn't have experience in, in medicine. And Holmes wouldn't want to, to learn it. He would see it as a uh, as inefficient. He already has a friend who is a doctor. Why does he need to know? Right. <laughs> but um, but Holmes is not the asshole betrayed on TV. Holmes is extremely polite. It is reasonable to be polite to people. Okay. So he is <laughs> he is also sassy as fuck. It's worth if nothing else. Read read the stories for when Holmes gets mad at somebody, because when he gets mad at somebody, he doesn't lose his shit. He just throws incredible one-liners that are just burns. <laughs> anyway. I will have to check that out, definitely.